What up, y'all? This is Tracy. And Matt. From Nerd Squish. And today, we're going to be talking about what we've been watching in quarantine. <sighs> y'all, <laughs> we're in a interesting predicament right now. Lily's licking me. You may hear it. Our couch is pretty broken right now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's what happens when you buy a cheap Wayfair so Um, yeah. So at some point we might just <laughs> fall out, so stay tuned. <laughs> We've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube do a lot of like what I've been watching in quarantine videos and I think they're cool because hey, let's face it, we're all quarantined and we need stuff to watch. So I always like to watch them to get the recommendations and learn about new stuff that's out there, whatever. So what's up? Tiger King. <laughs> That's where we're gonna start. Tiger, Tiger King, King. The best. Which I think it was your, like, you were the one that was like, we gotta watch Well, this. I wanna watch documentaries no matter what. It was, I guess it was before all the craziness, or it was after the craziness, because I'm in a group chat with a bunch of friends, and they're like, have you watched Tiger King? And I'm like, nah, bro, but it does sound cool. <laughs> so, like, but I'm also a serial binger, too, so the moment we started, I was like, we have to finish watching this to the end. I don't know if that's actually what we did. Did we finish it all in we one? We didn't watch it all in one night, but we like did it in like two nights. nights. In like two nights. Which is kind of a feat in itself because we don't normally do that. I went into it like, eh, okay, whatever. And it cracks me up. The fact that the least interesting thing about these people are is the, the fact that they own tigers. Yeah. <laughs> it's wild. It was pretty wild. And the memes that are coming out of it, I think is what we all needed during this crazy time. That's very true. Because let's face it, Carol Baskin is to blame for everything, and I will never financially recover from all the online shopping that I'm doing right now. Yeah, I do definitely think she killed her husband. I mean, I think she did. She's kind of sketch. And also, she did everything that the all the other people that she's um, trying to judge about animal cruelty and all that stuff, like conservation. She did that when she first got started. She 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 was breeding. So I don't know. That, I think that and like Ozark have been the things that people say you should watch the most. We haven't watched it. I know it's from the same creators of uh, Breaking Bad, which I loved. She refuses to watch for whatever reason. No, I tried to watch Breaking Bad. And she I doesn't. Just couldn't get she into just, it. I don't know. I like the actor, the main actor, but Brian Cranston. I don't know. Like I watched the first episode and I was like, this does not reel me in. So well, you're just gonna let sit here. And you can see the top of your head, maybe, <laughs> barely. So, after the craziness of Tiger King, we rolled into another series, which is an older series, but one I had been wanting to watch forever. And since I saw, we got Hulu, and I saw that it was on there, I knew we needed to watch it. Screen Queens. Yeah, Screen Queens is tight. I think I like season one. There's only two seasons. It was canceled after the second season. And if you watch the second season, you can probably tell why. Um, but it was done by the same guy who does American Horror Story. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Uh, Ryan Murphy. Yeah. Which you can tell because I feel like Scream Queens is the combination of his American Horror Story and then his Glee. And if you take those two of his creations and put them together, you get Scream Queens. What I love about the show is that it knows what it is and it's not afraid to just make fun of itself, which is awesome because it's really just like a horror comedy series. It's, it's so... At times, you even are like, hmm, I wish this was slightly more serious. But really, it's, it's, it's great. No, it's, 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 it's ridiculously wacky and fun. Even though the second season wasn't as good as the first season, I am really sad that like I have no more to watch because it was so fun. If you're a fan, too, of uh, slasher movies, I think you're going to just naturally enjoy this as well because it plays on all the stereotypes and it's super funny. You've got the Scream Queen in it. She's she's one of the main, I guess, actors. Mm. She's she's great. And still totally a babe. Such a babe. <laughs> Such a babe. Such a babe. So there's two shows that we've gotten into uh, that we haven't been able to binge because they're like new shows. Week right? for week right now, yeah. Which uh, it's killing me because it's like I need it. I need more. First one being Dave. So funny. It's uh, loosely based off, I guess, the life and career, but really also super fictional um, for little Dicky, Dave Bird. Um, it's hilarious, though. Should we do the, <laughs> we'll have to do the thing? The little thing, is it like this? Yeah, like that? Poor guy. <laughs> yeah. I bet you it's not like that. It's just, he's, he's a satire uh, rapper and he's super good. 
super, super good. And legitimately, he's got some skills, too, which is awesome. It's a perfect show, too. Like, I know a lot of people, um, specifically, I've heard a lot of horror fans saying, like, even though I love horror, with everything going on, I just want something, like, just that I can put on, and it's funny, and it's entertaining, whatever. And this is, like, a really good, just, like, it's just fun to watch. Although the last couple episodes have gotten a little bit on the more serious note. Which is cool. Uh, yeah, no, they blend it well. They blend it well, but it's it's hilarious. Little Dicky has a direct connection to my funny bone. He doesn't even have to do anything. Yeah, he's 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 he's, he's hilarious. I re highly recommend watching. You also have Andrew Santino in it, um, who's a really good comedian. That brings up another one that's not on our list that I'm just going to give an honorable mention to. You didn't watch it at all, but I loved it. it was uh, I'm dying up here. The uh, comedian, like the the show that's loosely based off of the. Uh, what is it, the Comedy Store um, in LA, and it's it's loosely based off of that. And uh, what's her, oh my god, Mitzi, Mitzi, um, she's Mitzi Shore. Mitzi Shore is the person they loosely based the main character Goldie off of. Mitzi is the person who opened up the Comedy Store and also is Pauly Shore's mom. So. Wait, mm -hmm. wait, the main blonde in the show that's supposed to be his mom? It's like it's loosely based. Loosely, like it's, but it's a hundred percent like so. It's loosely based off of Mitzi Shore and the Comedy Store. Okay. Right, but they've changed all the names. They've also changed the story tremendously. But it's really, really good. It's um, I loved it. It was two seasons worth, and they ended it after the second season. Um, I think Jim Carrey was the original writer or producer. Yeah, of I didn't the know show. that either. Yeah, it's, it's got really a lot good. of good actors in it. Yeah, it's really, really good. If for anything, just watch those two so you can watch what's his name's beautiful ginger glow beard. Oh, uh, Andrew Santino. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, the couch just made a noise. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Uh, another one uh, that is a new show is Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Great show. Which is another one that Matt was like, we need to watch this. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, yeah, it's super good. Uh, it's gonna pull on your heartstrings. Oh Boo -coo. my gosh! Boo -coo. Does it's, it? It's a great, great, great show. Especially it's, uh, if you like musicals. Yeah. Um, if you're of the music sense, like it's a great, great film. Great it's cool. Show, show. Cause this girl, it's all about this girl that, um, her dad has some kind of neuro. Oh God, I can't say that word. Neurological. Neurological. neurological disease. Uh, disease. And she's like kind of paranoid, like, well, what if I have that or whatever? So her mom's like, well, just go get an MRI. So she does it. And while she's in the MRI machine, an earthquake happens. And the music that the doctor's playing all downloads into her brain or something. Very loose, fun concept, by the way. Like, Don't get scientific it's about just, it. It's just a cool show. Watch it. I recommend it highly. So then after that, she, ran, she starts hearing people's. Uh, inner emotions through songs, and she's the only person that can hear it. So uh, they play with that really well, and it's it's really really good good show. Prepare to uh, to cry. Yeah, lots if you're of a crier, just get the clean up. Just of, get it ready. Lots of feels. We started watching Nosferatu, but we haven't finished it. I think we're only like maybe three or four episodes in. It's that. Pick, it's picking up. Um, I like it better than when I first started watching it. It was like information overload when I first started watching it um, because it's like, I guess they're trying to cover a lot and there's a lot of just really off the wall shit. They don't, I'm not gonna say they, I'll go ahead and say it. They don't do a great job of like easing you into it. It's just like, boom, here's all this wacky shit and you have no understanding of why any of this fucking shit's happening. And it's like, okay. It definitely works better in book form. I mean, it's a big, you can't see it, but it is a chunky, I mean, it's Stephen King's son. Okay, so you know those dudes, they like details, <laughs> they get wild. So to, you know, jam all that into even a series, mm -hmm. it gets kind of difficult. So far, I mean, it's okay. I'm not like overly wild about it. It's just okay. Uh, I'm gonna be the person that says the book is better, <laughs> but I plan on finishing it and seeing, you know, maybe it's gonna have some wild turns and I'm gonna be like, oh my God. You never know. That is all the shows that we've been watching in quarantine. Oh, uh, we haven't really done too much movie watching. Not really. We watched a uh, Shining sequel. Doctor Sleep. That. I loved it. It was really good. Oh, I enjoyed that. it. Uh oh. <laughs> the book was better. 
So she's. I in mean, her. okay. I don't want to be that person. I don't. You be that person. Okay. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's there's a lot of uh, there's a one. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because it's a super spoiler. But there is a major thing in the book that kind of just connects everything all together. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. You told me. And yeah. I don't understand why they left that out of the you, movie. You telling me it after, I think, made a lot of sense. Um, and they probably should have done it, but maybe they wanted to leave it ambiguous. I don't know. I just, it was good, though. I think they should have explained it like they did in the book. Yeah. Although, I will say that I loved, you know, how they, like, uh, brought the Overlook back to life. I loved that. I, it was so cool because we we watched them all in one day. We watched The Shining and Doctor Sleep. We had a little little isolation marathon, <laughs> and I just I love those movies. But it's funny though because The Shining is one of the few exceptions that I like the movie better than the book. Yeah, I like The Shining a lot. It's just visually stunning. It's like, a great movie. Ugh. I'm super ahead of its time too. All right. So the only other movie, and the last thing on our list that we have watched... Oh, he doesn't remember! <laughs> what is it, Matt? I don't know. It's hell getting old. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we watched Disney's Onward. Oh yeah, it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I have been looking forward to this movie for so long, because I just, you know... Y'all know me, like, tugs at my heartstrings. Uh, so I was really excited about the whole premise and everything. Um, it didn't make me cry as much as I thought it was gonna do. I didn't think it was a barn burner of a movie. I thought it was just a really good movie. I don't, I don't think it's like uh, something that I would say is an instant classic and has a lot of rewatch value. I just think it was a very good movie. Well, one thing that was weird to me is that I felt like, I remember seeing the trailer uh, for the first time in the theaters, and I thought that it was a DreamWorks movie. Mm. Like, the animation does not... I realize that, like, everything CGI and, like, all CGI animation kind of looks the same. Um, but, like, it just it doesn't look Disney quality. What's up with that, Disney? Buying too many things? Can't focus on your own stuff? That's right! A picket fights! <laughs> I'm not better. Um, it was a good movie, though. It was a good movie. Uh, like you said, though, I think you kind of hit the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nail on the head. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good. Uh, it's, okay. it's nothing that I'm going to freak out about. I'm like, I need to rewatch Onward. Mm -hmm. But uh, very good, cute little story. And uh, it's tight. In the comments below, let us know what you guys have been watching. Let us know if you've watched any of the things that we've talked about today and what you thought about them. We'll catch you nerds later. Bye. 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 Bye.